let's try out another question from MIT 2006 Integration B. If you guys want to check it out, check out the actual Integration B. I have a link to the video down below. But for now, let's focus on this very exciting looking question. Integral from 0 to pi squared over 4 of sine of square root of x dx. And pi squared over 4 is, looks very intriguing because that's pi over 2 squared. So maybe we want to make a substitution involving square root or squares to get this integral. And we have sine of square root of x. So let's, our, so let's let our u be square root of x right away. So our du is going to be, hmm, you don't want to do du is 1 over 2 times square root of x dx. That looks very hard. Why don't we write u squared is equal to x and, and differentiate. So you have 2u du is dx. I feel like that's the easier way to go. I mean, you can still make a substitution u into this, but I feel like this is a faster way. So u squared is x. So 2u du is dx. So let's rewrite this. Actually, let's start by finding you know what, let's just go right away. So we have our x is 0, so our u, our corresponding u is square root of 0, or 0. Our x is pi square root over 4, so our corresponding u is square root of that, also known as pi over 2. And we have sine of u, and our dx is 2u, 2u, and you have du. So we have to integrate by part. So let's get this 2 out, out of the way. So you have 2 times integral from 0 to pi over 2 of u sine of u du. What's integral of u sine of u du? Well, that's straightforward application of integration by parts because you have algebraic function multiplied to trigonometric function. And how, how to do it? You can do everything with you letting, uh, maybe not u, maybe letting a be, letting a be u and d, dv being sine of u. And you can do all of the integration by parts stuff, but I want to use logic in this case to figure this out. So we know to get u sine of x, we can differentiate u two times cosine of x, and I want to put negative sign, because when you differentiate this, you get u times differentiating cosine of x gets you negative sine of x, and negatives cancel out to get a sine of x. So negative u cosine of x is very close to our answer, but you gotta use product rule. When you differentiate negative u cosine of x, you also get negative cosine of x. So we want to, we want to add some expression that when you differentiate, you get plus cosine of x, and that's precisely plus sine of x. So we have found the indefinite integral, so we can apply it right away. I feel like using, doing it like this, using, using your logic and product rule is much easier than actually writing things out when, when it's not too complex. So you have integral, uh, actually, let's get, get our answer right away. We have negative u cosine of u. I'm not sure why I'm going back and forth between x and u. So let's change all of these to u. So we have negative u cosine of u plus sine of u, and we're going from 0 to pi over 2. So we have 2 times negative pi over 2 times cosine of pi over 2 plus sine of pi over 2. And when you plug in 0, you, when you get 0 times something, which is 0, and sine of 0, which is 0. So this is all you are left with. And cosine of pi over 2 is 1, so you have 2 times negative pi over 2, sine of pi over 2. No, 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 cosine of pi over 2, cosine of pi over 2 is 0, so you have negative pi over 2 times 0 plus sine of pi over 2, which is 1. So our final answer is 2.